Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. In a sport dominated by men, she is in a league of her own. I like to drive, I like to do a good job, I like to win races. With more than 100 races and eight major wins to her credit, she is considered among the most prolific and versatile female race car drivers in the sport. It doesn't matter the gender, it doesn't matter if you are a woman or, or man. The important thing is your determination. She fell in love with cars in her native Venezuela while taking joy rides in her parents' Chevrolet. Today, she races all over the world and often exceeds 200 miles per hour. What did your parents say when you decided to go from naval engineering to, to said, stock cars? Ah, are you crazy? I started so much, you started so much, and now you want to drive a car. This former model turned race car dynamo is Milka Duno. Miami, playground of the chic, from the people to the cars, this U.S. city is all about style. It's here we find Milka Duno, cruising around her adopted hometown in an exotic Lotus sports car. The Latin people have a lot of talent. We do everything with passion from inside. We have to feel the emotion. We have, this is why we are so explosive. We can show that we love our hay. We don't have a, a fake face. Duno's love for speed began in 1998 in Venezuela after she was invited to a driving clinic. I didn't know anything about racing and I participated. I was the only woman. I started to win some races. She became hooked. I came to the United States for a racing school and two weeks later they called me to form like a driver. This is what I say. It wasn't my destiny. I didn't know that I was going to be a race car driver. To see what life is like for the professional race car driver, we join Duno at the Daytona International Speedway in Florida during a series of practice sessions as she prepares for a coming race. Her day starts with a driver's meeting. Spotters, you're going to play a very important role over the next three days because you are the people. This is all leading up to the season opener in the ARCA Racing Series, a stock car competition with a $35,000 prize. And tell me what your day has been like so far today. Oh, after the driver meeting, we were working in the car. It's a new car and we have to try everything and test everything. Oh, the engineer was making many changes. Um, we were wanted to be sure that the car was good when we go out to the track. Duno is relatively new to stock car racing compared to other types of racing that she's done. Though she is familiar with the track here. In 2007, she finished second in the 24 hours at Daytona race, the highest finish by a female driver. Her crew chief says it all comes down to determination. Her competitive spirit is second to none. There's, I don't think there's a, there's a man in this garage has got as much competitive spirit as she does. During one of the practice sessions, Duno posted the fastest lap among the drivers, circling the two and a half mile track in 48 Point three seconds. It's a very complex sport. You need to have a good preparation, physical preparation. You have to have a good training. Uh, you have to have a concentration level. You have to uh, study. You have, it's not only gas and brake like the people think. You, know? you have to study so much about the car, know about the car. And at the end, you need so many things working right to win a race. Milka Duno isn't just gutsy, she's also smart. The former naval engineer has four master's degrees, three of them earned simultaneously. It seems Milka Duno has never met a challenge she couldn't overcome, including a career behind the wheel. We have a woman's president, uh, mechanics, race car driver, astronauts, everything. We can do everything that we decide that we want to do. In the coming weeks, we'll see Milka Duno at the Daytona race that she's practicing for, and also give you more insight into the world of auto racing.